Hi friends, Samantha here from Fun Hands On Learning. And today, sorry, my little guy over here just moved my camera. Um, today I would like to share with you a few activities that we're gonna be doing this week. Uh, the first uh, two activities I'm gonna be doing with my three-year-old who, um, he's three but he has special needs so we're kind of doing um, some activities that you might see done with a two-year-old. Um, and then I'm going to show you some of the activities I'm doing with my <laughs> pre-K kindergarten um, child. So I'd like to show you these two activities first that I'm going to be doing with um, my younger, with the little one, and then I'll show you a few of the other activities. So <clears throat> these activities I made a few years ago when one of my other kiddos was really little and they are counting activities so what you do and they're Christmas themed or like winter Christmas themed um, activities so the first one I'm going to show you is the snowman one and you cut out and laminate the snowman and then what I do is I use it with number manipulatives here you can also just take a dry erase marker and write the number but what I like to do is I like to let them reach into here and pick out a number. Now I take out all, I only use numbers one through 10. So like, if you can see, I have 19 in here and 15. I take those out before we do it. So only numbers one through 10, and then I have them reach in there and he grabs a number. And then I will tell him, this is the number three, three, the number three. Now we are going to put three buttons on our snowman, snowman three one two three and then i will let him pick three buttons so all i have here some of these buttons have magnets on the back because oh, that one doesn't but some of them do because we use them with here yeah, that one does we use them with um on cookie sheets so that they stick um but for this purpose since i'm just on a table you don't really need the ones with the magnets but then i will let him take them and he will count out one two and he will count oh, he's got, he will count out three buttons and then we can do it again with another number um, you know say he grabs four this time this is the number four four can you say four and then <laughs> we um then he can put four buttons you know on his and I help him count them out because like I said he's um he, oh, let's see he is three but he's special needs so he's more at a two-year-old level so um we count them out and then uh together so i'll have them I'll, I'll have them pick a button and i'll say okay that's one get another one that's two get another one that's three that's one. so <laughs> what are you doing i have a little one pulling on my camera today um so yeah that that's how we do this activity if you have okay the other activity i have here um, also comes in the same set and then I also have an alphabet activity in this preschool set and something else that I made I made this years ago but um, I'll leave a link below to it if you're interested this one is a cookie counting one so you do the same thing as the snowman with the buttons but you're counting Christmas cookies and I do the same thing I have them pick a number so they reach in and they pick a number and by the way, these numbers that I'm using are from a Melissa and Dog puzzle. And they go up to 20 and they're real big and chunky. That's why I use these ones with the with the teeny tiny kiddos, like the two-year-olds and the three-year-olds, because they're nice and big and chunky. Um, but I also have smaller numbers that I use with the older kids. Okay, so I pick a number and then there's little cookie pieces. And then we count one cookie, two cookies, two, one, two and so on so it's just real simple just little cookies that they can uh, little cookie pieces that they can use to count them out and put them on their plate as they are counting for Christmas and so yeah there's a couple other activities I didn't pull them out because he's not quite ready for the alphabet one yet um, it's a Christmas tree and you put the alphabet uh, you can use alphabet magnets like these I didn't pull it out, but I'm just trying to explain to you. So you use alphabet magnets like these. You have them pick um, a letter, and then they find all the ornaments that make that letter sound, and they put them on their Christmas tree. It's really cute. And then I forget what the other, there's more than that. Um, it might be one or two more activities in that set. So, but these are the only two I'm going to do with him this week. Let me show you um, what I'm going to do with one of my other kiddos. Okay, so for my... Um, pre-k kindergarten child he's actually pre-k but 
um, some things that we do are kindergarten-ish related. And But he'll be doing kindergarten next year, like full-on kindergarten. But some of the things he does um, hit kindergarten standards. But this activity we're going to do is um, a Christmas activity about dough and... Um, it's using Play-Doh and you segment and blend words. So um, in this pack, it comes with short vowel cards and long vowel. Okay, what I was saying is that um, this set comes with short vowel words and long vowel words, but I'm going to take out the long vowel words because he's not quite ready for those yet. And we're just gonna focus on the short vowel words. And I apologize, um, my one of my little ones is like, really needy right now and it's so weird because do you know how it's like when you get on the phone or you go to do something like all, your kids are completely perfectly fine and then you go to do something and then all of a sudden they just have a meltdown like when you're on the phone well that's what he's doing like so I think I've got him kind of occupied right now but there we go I was getting the pieces out um there's another piece in there a couple more all right so it comes with these cards and it comes with these pieces and then what the kiddos do is, it's a it's Christmas themed, so there's um, bells and ornaments, and there's just different words for them to practice reading. So they take a card, and I'll put these cards off to the side, and then they use their Play-Doh to segment the sounds. So they're just going to put a little Play-Doh ball on each one of these peppermints. So I'm going to put one, two... Three. Okay, and then what they do is they push one, push them each down to segment the sound. So they say the sound as they push it down. So they're gonna go ba, a, d, and then they run their finger across the arrow to blend it together. Bad, b, a, d, bad. And then the last step after they have read the word is they're going to look through their cards and find the picture that matches the word. So there's bed and then they're supposed to put it right in there. So that's what he does for all of these. So he'll do just a couple of them. Sun, pen, bug. Um, I do have some with Christmas trees. That one's a long vowel one though, so I'll probably take that one out. But then there's some with um, the uh, presents. But you do the same thing. You, like even for the long vowels, if you're doing it with a child who's ready to do long vowels, they do the same thing. They put their Play-Doh on the little peppermints and they do g a m game. And then they have to find the picture of the board game. And it's over here somewhere. So that's what he's going to be doing. Um, this one you can see from last year we had the long vowel marked with a dry erase marker so I can erase those um, next time we go to use them. This will be a fun activity for him this week. Okay, this activity I have for him this week comes from my winter activity centers. The one you saw, um, the last activity came from my Christmas activity centers bundle and then this one comes from my winter's activity centers bundle. I'll leave links below. But this one is Hot Cocoa Edition. So we have, um, and obviously you can see like our theme is just like winter and Christmas right now because it is December. All right, so if you're watching this at a different time of the year, then you wouldn't know that. All right, so this one, you just need some marshmallows because you're doing hot cocoa. And they, what they do is they take a card. I'm gonna take this one here. You can see that um, the different Cocoa mugs have different problems on them for them to do. And so they take one of the mugs and they use their marshmallows to count out the amount. So we have one, two, plus four. One, two, three, four equals, and then they can count them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the last step is to find the card that matches. And my, there's six. My older son um, did this activity last year and um, I have him in a video doing it. But you can see how fun this one's gonna be for him because now I can get to pass this activity down to um, one of my younger ones. Okay, I'm not gonna go through these activities because I've shown these activities in videos last year. 
when we did them with um, some of my other kiddos. But I just wanted to show you the ones that I pulled out for him this week. And if you're interested in seeing these um, activities more in depth, I will try to remember to leave links below to those videos. There's a video on Christmas activities and there's a video on winter activities. So I'll try to remember to leave the links to the videos in the description box below. But we're gonna be doing the missing number wreaths. It's a Christmas one. The short vowel word gift puzzles. That's also a Christmas one where they match the um, short vowel words to the picture on the gifts. We are also gonna be doing snowman ending sounds. This is a winter one. And um, the thing about this one is he is probably past this. He's pretty good with beginning sounds, middle sounds, ending sounds. But um, I just I just love this one with the snowman. I just think it's so cute. And I think it would just be a fun break for him so that, like sometimes you just need to throw in activities that are a little bit more easy for them so that they're not constantly feeling like um, school is just so challenging. Um, so I thought I'd throw that in there anyways. And then this one is really cute. Let me just pull it out really quick. Um, I do show it in another video, but so, it's and they practice book. numbers being more or less. And we use our hundred chart with this activity. We have the little pieces. You don't have to. You could just use a, a dry erase marker. But we use um, a hundred chart, and we also use um, manipulatives usually to mark our answers, or you can use a dry erase marker. But anyway, so that one is cute. If you want to see how we do it, check out that winter themed activity video from last year. And then this is another Christmas one that he's going to be doing where he rolls a die and he covers up um, the different sounds in some of the words. And this one is, we are Christians, so this one is nativity Christmas themed one. And um, he really likes this one. He rolls the die. I shouldn't say he really likes this. I don't know if he does. My other son did it last year and he liked it. Um, he rolls the die and then it has the different ending sounds. They're, they're short vowel, um, what do we call it? Word families, basically. And then he has to, look if it, if it rolls on it. If he rolls number two, then he does an it word family and then he uses a manipulative to cover it up. So anyways, um, check out the Christmas video if you wanna see how we do that one. Alrighty, so something we have been doing um, are these short vowel books. These come from my Phonics for Reading program, and these come from Unit 2. And so what he does is he reads the book with me. It has the rule here, when a word has only one vowel, it comes between two consonants, it usually says the short sound. And so we have been um, sounding out these words and then reading the sentences and I help him with the sentences. Now what I like to do when he's sounding out the words is either we use Play-Doh and we push it down to segment the sounds or we use manipulatives. So this week I have these, these are just little, you've probably seen them if you've seen my other videos. These I got from the dollar store a couple years ago. They're just little gems and they're supposed to go for like planters, but we use them all the time, especially winter time because they look like little pieces of ice or little, you know, I don't know. Yeah, ice, I guess you could say. And you can also use them if you're doing a an ocean themed um, activity because they can look like uh, bubbles, you know, like bubbles from fish or whatever. Um, so anyways, but I pulled those out because those are what we're gonna we're gonna use to uh, segment and our sounds out. So let's say he's on um, this page, okay? Dad. He would take one for each sound, and he would say, "Duh, a, eh, d, dad." And then we would read, "I hug my dad," and he's been doing pretty good. He'll probably read this whole thing. Maybe he might not know the word "my," um, but. I help him with any words that he doesn't know. And then we'll turn the page. And all of the words in this book have a short A. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna to talk to you about is, um, I'm not gonna go through the rest of the activities I have in here for him this week. Uh, just because um, I'm kind of short on time, but I did want to get a video done for you guys, and I did want to show you a few things. But I'm going to walk you through it really quick. We are doing the, uh, just to kind of show you what we're doing. We're doing the, um, Geometry unit, uh, the shaped unit of my early learners math curriculum. So I have this activity center in here with a little shape book. Um, this one is the uh, trace and write uh, shape activity. I have a video on those. Um, and then I also have, this um, is our, actually our pre-K 
summer review book, but you don't have to do it in the summer. Um, and this is all on shapes, so I pulled that out since we are doing the unit on shapes. Um, so we're going to do that. And then I actually have another one in here because he still needs to work on patterns. So I have this one in here just, even though we're not doing patterns this week, I just thought it might be... Um, you know, fun. I like to throw other things in here besides just what we're doing because you did also see that we're doing an addition um, activity center with this week as well. So we're not just doing um, shapes, but that's our main focus. So anyways, um, I just have a handful of other activities in here. I have um, all of our um, activities from the phonics for reading program that we do that's what we do for reading and uh and, and literacy so i have a bunch of stuff in here for them he is on the um short vowel unit which is unit two and he's almost done with it so then we'll be moving on to unit three which is long vowels i just have some of my our um word slides these are the short vowel ones because of course like i told you he's doing short vowels so he'll be doing those again he's already done some but we haven't gone through all of them and he really likes these and then what i have been doing too is as he goes through the word slides and he reads them um, we have been making them with our magnetic letters so we've got that in there i have one of the um activity these are my roll and read activities this is level a and he will probably be doing I can turn this the um short vowel word pages so i have those in here um there is there's two levels there's level a and level b is there a level c i don't know this is level a um i can't even remember what all i've made but i'll leave a link below to these as well you can get them in a in a bundle with both levels if you want and then of course all the rest of our um phonics for reading program that he's working on like i told you he's working on the short vowels so i won't go into it too much but um yeah we got our flip it books in there and some more of our um fluency strips and things like that that we have been working on and you can see he's done some of the pages so we just have you know a few more pages to to get done in some of these books that he hasn't done and then once he's done with that and i really feel like he is oh yeah i have our other things from that unit too like the build it strips that he he uses with the magnet letters and so on um so when i feel like we're ready to move on we'll move on to unit two which will probably be soon in a week or two so all right guys thank you so much for watching sorry this video was kind of hectic this week but you know that's how it goes when you're a mom right i mean you you start something and you think it's going to be smooth and then um it just isn't <laughs> right so okay guys uh i appreciate you watching and we will see you next time bye